All right, relatively simple problem actually. So, so this problem here, we are supposed to find the X component of reaction at pin A uh, for the little beam segment that's shown right there, okay? Um, and I'm gonna get it, go ahead and uh, give you a little tip. Uh, occasionally, we like to put little Easter eggs in these exams, um, as in something that if you notice it, it makes it really interesting and cool and sometimes a lot easier. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that for this problem. Uh, what is the sum of 54 degrees and 36 degrees? Okay, 90 degrees. That means that this line right here is perpendicular to that line right there because of the numbers that you're given, okay? Well, if that's the case, then uh, how does the line of action, like if you were, like I guess, Tell you what, we'll go ahead and draw this little free body diagram real quick of this little piece. What is the line of action of uh, the roller at C? You know, where does it go? Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll show the uh, kind of center of curvature up here. That line of action goes like this and we have this force that we could identify down here that I'll just call F sub C, right? I have another force right here that I'll just, I think we're given that, right? 400 Newtons. And then we have a couple of reactions that happen over here at this pin. Okay. And I'm gonna show you here that since that line of action of F sub C is perpendicular to this line right here, it means finding the distance from the line of action of F C to the pin is pretty easy. What is it? R, right? It's just the radius, so 34 centimeters. Okay, so that makes FC relatively easy to deal with. Uh, what about the force of F? All right, so this is this force right here. Do I need to know anything about where that force, uh, you know, how far that line of action is away from point A? If we're thinking ahead to doing a moment equation. Do I need to know how far that is? Okay. In other words, this distance right here. Okay. So think about it this way. I've got this little triangle right here. Right? Where this over here is 34 centimeters. Right. So what I would say is that the sine of theta one is equal to that opposite side over 34 centimeters, or the other way of saying that um, is that um, 34 centimeters times the sine of theta one is going to be this length right here. So put that right here, 34 centimeters times the sine of theta one is 54 degrees. Okay, I should probably label my reactions at A. I have R-A-X and R-A-Y. Kind of embedded in that is this presumption that I'm gonna use X and Y coordinate system like this. So I'll put that on there. And I'm in good shape with this little free body diagram to do a uh, sum of moments around A. Okay, so with that, I've got F sub C times 34 centimeters. Okay, positive or negative? If I'm using counterclockwise as a positive for my sum, okay? 
positive because it would be a counterclockwise influence around A. 400 newtons is going to be a clockwise influence around A. So I'm going to subtract that. And how far is it? 34 centimeters times the sine of 54 degrees. Okay, and this is all equal to zero, which means F sub C is just going to be equal to 400 newtons times 34 centimeters times the sine of 54 degrees all over 34 centimeters. All right, so you just end up with 400 times the sine of 54 degrees. Make sure your calculator is in the right angle mode. <coughs> 323.6 newtons, right? All right, but that's not my answer yet, right? What does it want? Okay, I need to figure out what the X component of reaction is on, uh, on joint A. Okay, well, here's how I get that. If you look at this force right here, uh, you can determine what the horizontal component is of this force. How? Okay, theta two is the same up here, right? This is theta two. That's the same as it is down here. So I'm gonna put that 36 degrees right here. And so what is this force up here? F sub C times what? Okay, it's opposite of where that angle is, right? So we would use a sine function, sine of 36 degrees. Okay, but I also know what F sub C is now, so I can plug that in. That will be handy when we go to our sum of forces in the X direction. So here I've got RAX, right? 400 newtons and RAY are both entirely in the vertical direction, so I don't need to think about them. But I do need to think about my horizontal component of F sub C. It points in the leftward direction. So I'm going to say minus F sub C, which is 323.6 newtons, times the sine 36 degrees. And that should be everything. So I can solve for RAX. Okay, really it's just going to be 323.6 newtons times the sine of 36 degrees. 190.2 newtons. Hopefully that's one of the answers. Looks like it is. All right. Any questions about that one? My only tip that I would add to this is whenever you're working these problems, go ahead and draw your figure. Go ahead and draw it neatly, even if it feels like you're taking a lot of time doing it, All right? It is generally worth the time, especially for a problem that's, you know, maybe not quite obvious exactly how to proceed. That, that time is well spent. So 